Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. It will be a much healthier Nigerian population by the time the nation pushes COVID-19 behind it and flattens the curve. Nigeria's 36 states are all to enjoy infrastructure and medical facilities delivery courtesy of the NNPC with a thought and consideration for over 200 million Nigerian shareholders. We're also looking at the fresh numbers that came in on the business side of February 2020. How did NNPC fare? While the National Oil Company welcomes the new kids, the new members of the family, the graduate trainees, they have something to say about recruitment process, plus COVID-19 NNPC IPPG reinforced take responsibility theme with multilingual campaign. We're glad you could join us. My name is Akin Agbejuli. This is All and Girls Forum. May I, on behalf of the good people of Bielsa State and the government of Bielsa State, and indeed on behalf of the South South States, express my most sincere gratitude for your obligation, insight, and service to our zone, and particularly to our state. Let's take responsibility to stop the spread of the virus. Wash your hands frequently with soap under running water for about 20 seconds. Or use a hand sanitizer where water and soap are not available. Cough or sneeze into a tissue and dispose properly. Or cough or sneeze into your elbow. Avoid large gatherings. Keep physical contact to no less than 2 meters. And wear a mask whenever you are in a public space. Clean all surfaces frequently with disinfectants. Stay in your state. If you've traveled across states or just returned from a trip abroad, self-isolate for 14 days. And if you develop symptoms like frequent cough, sneezing, fever, or shortage of breath, call your state emergency number or NCDC's toll-free number on 0800 97 00 0010. Take responsibility. Do it for yourself and the rest of us. This message is brought to you by the NCDC. CDC and funded by the NNPC IPPG team, an association of indigenous oil and gas producing companies. The Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timipre Silva, explained that the need to protect the generality of the public from undue exploitation and prevent inordinate profiteering by oil marketers has made it mandatory for the federal government to keep a close monitoring of the price of premium motor spirit PMS, which currently stands deregulated. Chief Silva told journalists at a media session organized to provide status update on the operations of the oil and gas industry that the role of government in a deregulated environment was to provide shield for the teaming consumers through the operations of the Petroleum Product Pricing Regulatory Agency, PPPRA, which would use its price modulation mechanism to engender a market-driven price regime. On the 19th of March, we completely deregulated the product supply system. Completely. So we took out subsidy even on PMS. He explained, that because of the volatile nature of the price of petroleum products, especially PMS, the ministry was working closely with stakeholders in the petroleum industry to introduce an alternate fuel via the revamp and aggressive introduction of compressed natural gas CNG as alternative fuel. Gas will become even more affordable and we believe that a lot more people will enjoy gas because it's even a more efficient fuel. The Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, and the Nigeria LNG Limited, NLNG, have signed engineering, procurement, and construction EPC contracts for the Train 7 project. The contracts were signed with the SCD Joint Venture Consortium, comprising affiliates of Saipem, Chiyoda, and Dewu. During the contract signing ceremony held online, 
the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Silver, said he was happy the construction of the project was proceeding despite the current challenges in the global economy. He commended the shareholders for the milestone achieved, assuring that the federal government will do all that was necessary to pursue it to the end on schedule and within budget. With the award of the EPC contracts, the construction phase of Train 7 can now commence in earnest. With its realization, Nigeria will retain her pride of place in the world's list of top LNG suppliers, and the government will receive added revenue through dividends. The group managing director of the NNPC, Mala Melikari, said the federal government was determined to go ahead with the construction of the project despite the challenges posed by the coronavirus pandemic on the global economy. As we have this opportunity and we have issued the EPC contract and signed them, stakeholders involved must have the at the back of our minds that this project must be delivered. The managing director and chief executive officer of NLNG, engineer Tony Atta, said the EPC contract signing represented yet another milestone in NLNG's journey towards achieving its vision of being a global LNG company helping to build a better Nigeria. But I can assure you that with the boundary of the consortium that we have chosen and with the support that I've highlighted, both from the executive secretary of Nigeria Content, uh, the GMB himself, uh, Honorable Minister, and of course the board, I believe that this project will come to fruition in exactly five years' time. States that have not benefited from medical facilities and infrastructure support from the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NNPC and her partners in the ongoing intervention initiative have no cause to worry. The corporation's group managing director Mala Melekiari stated that the National Oil Company coordinated support would eventually reach them, explaining that inhabitants of the concerned states are a constituent of the 200 million Nigerians. Malam carried this close in Abuja during the inauguration of this day dome, COVID-19 testing, tracing and treatment center, equipped by industry stakeholders and other corporate bodies, among which are the NNPC, Sahara Group, COVID, and China Civil Engineering Construction Company, CCECC. As an industry, we are delivering medical facilities, infrastructure in all states of the Federation, and particularly setting up permanent structures in at least six of the geopolitical zones so that these facilities can actually outlive the, the COVID-19 period so that it will be of use to the communities post-COVID-19. Earlier, the chief executive officer of Sahara Group, Tokba Shonubi, applauded the NNPC for the support extended to the group in providing medical equipment to humanity in the face of the global pandemic. I want to thank my own partners, NNPC, who funded this and financed this. We want to thank all those who have made this happen. We want to thank all those who will make bigger things happen. Inaugurating the center, the secretary to the government of the Federation and chairman of the presidential task force, Boss Mustafa, applauded the NNPC and all her partners for supporting the federal government in the fight against COVID-19. We are witnessing the realization of the synergy with the commissioning of this facility. The speed and commitment demonstrated by the partners that developed this infrastructure is a call to other private sector entities to also get involved in the development of public interest facilities. The group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Mala Melikari, has urged the newly recruited graduate trainees, GTs, to join hands with other staff in building the corporation to become the national oil company NOC of choice, urging them to go the extra mile to achieving extraordinary results. Malam Kiari made the call during a virtual platform session with the 1,050 GTs that were newly recruited by the corporation 
as part of their onboarding program. The GMD charged the newly recruited employees of the corporation to come up with out-of-the-box ideas and help NNPC deliver on its mandate of crude oil exploration, refining, marketing, supplying, and distribution of petroleum products as a key enabler of the national economy. With this level of uh, commitment from NMPC, I will expect that you demonstrate high sense of responsibility and commitment in driving the objectives of all the businesses that we are going to deploy you to. As one big family, your professional growth, experience and conduct will, be, will have to be shaped by NMPC's core values that promotes professional excellence, respect for individual, self-development, growth and integrity, transparency and accountability. He assured the GTs of top management support, describing them as excellent minds that represent the future of the NNPC, adding that the corporation believed in promoting gender equality. Responding on behalf of the graduate trainees, Safula Karanga commended the GMD for the strong leadership he has provided for the corporation through the completion of the recruitment process and the several medical interventions to the 36 states of the Federation to combat the novel coronavirus pandemic. Oluwatobi Ayo Yusuf from Lagos thanked the NNPC for the vision of providing a level playing field for all the participants in the recruitment process, describing it as the most fair and transparent recruitment that he has ever participated in Nigeria. The 1,050 graduate trainees recently recruited by NNPC assumed duty virtually on Monday, May 4, 2020, in view of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has limited travels, movements, and physical contacts in office settings in line with the federal government directives. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has said that its downstream subsidiary company in charge of bulk sales and distribution of petroleum products, the Petroleum Products Marketing Company, PPMC, recorded 211.62 billion naira sale of white products in February 2020. The report explained that the figure contained in the February 2020 NNPC monthly financial and operations report was significantly higher compared to the previous month's record, which stood at 151.79 billion naira. The February 2020 report also indicated that total revenues recorded from the sales of white products for the period February 2019 to February 2020 stood at about 2.6 trillion naira, with petrol contributing about 98.06% of the total sales value of about 2.5 trillion naira. The report stated that over 1.7 billion liters of white products were sold and distributed by PPMC in the month of February 2020, compared with about 1.2 billion liters sold in January 2020. This comprised of over 1.7 billion liters of PMS and 1.09 million liters of automotive gas oil, AGO. Also, there was sale of 0.01 million liters of special product low pore fuel oil lpfo in the month total sale and distribution of white products for the period february 2019 to february 2020 stood at about 21 billion liters and pms accounted for 20.8 billion liters 98.73% The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, is pulling out all the stops and leaving no stones unturned in her campaign to galvanize Nigerians in the battle to stop the spread of COVID-19. The coronavirus disease 2019 COVID-19 outbreak, which was first identified in Wuhan, China in December 2019, has since become a global pandemic spreading to almost every country in the world, including Nigeria. With a campaign funded by the NNPC IPPG team, an association of indigenous oil and gas producing companies, and buoyed by its mandates to tackle the challenge of public health epidemics through prevention, detection, and control, 
The NNPC and the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, have taken the Take Responsibility Awareness campaign against the COVID-19 virus a notch higher with the newly launched multi-language mass media campaign. The new Take Responsibility campaign disseminated pan-Nigeria in Hausa, Ibu, Yoruba, Pidgin and English languages across print, radio and social media platforms is premised on the key NCDC guidelines and safety precautions to stop the spread of a novel coronavirus. The safety precautions include washing of hands frequently with soap under running water for 20 seconds or using alcohol-based hand sanitizers where water is not readily available, coughing or sneezing into tissue and disposing same into a dustbin immediately or coughing or sneezing into the elbow. Coronavirus which affects all age groups but mostly the elderly and those with underlying medical conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, asthma, etc. is primarily spread between and among people during close contact, often via small droplets produced by coughing, sneezing or talking. According to NNPC, IPPG and NCDC partnership, the summary of all the COVID-19 guidelines and safety precautions is for Nigerians and non-Nigerians in the country to take responsibility by playing their parts in the all-important race to halt and end the pandemic for the good of all. Saudi Aramco is considering a further reduction in its capital spending in 2021, but for this year it remains committed to spending between $25 billion and $30 billion and paying the $75 billion in dividends it promised to shareholders. The company's chief executive officer, Amin Nasser, stated that like all other oil companies around the world, Aramco had seen its revenues hit this year by the economic fallout from the novel coronavirus pandemic, which has caused oil demand and prices to plunge. Aramco reported during the week that its net income for the first quarter fell 25%, to $16.7 billion from $22.2 billion in the same period of last year, while revenue fell to $60.2 billion from $71.8 billion. Meanwhile, Russia has come close to hitting its production cut target under the new organization of the petroleum exporting countries OPEC Plus deal, according to government data obtained by Energy Intelligence. Daily output of crude oil and gas condensate in the first 11 days of May averaged 1.289 million metric tons, according to statistics from a unit of the Russia Energy Ministry. That equates to 9.45 million barrels per day at a conversion rate of 7.33 barrels per ton, more than 16% lower than the country's output of 11.3 million barrels per day in February of this year. Energy Minister Alexandra Novak has previously stated that Russia needs to reduce its output by 19% from February levels to meet its obligations under the latest OPEC Plus Pact. Hello, it's good to have you join us on the feedback segment of the program. My name is Julia Auta. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, would be collaborating with some major stakeholders in the oil and gas sector to establish condensate refineries for the production of petroleum products. This week, our Robin Camera on the street wants to hear from the public their opinions on NNPC's foray into condensate refineries. There's significant benefit in adding value to petroleum that is produced from the ground. And that's what this initiative will do, is to deliver on the necessity for us to have in, in, internal uh, production of petroleum products and to make money out of it, because that's the aspect of it that business people will look at. We know that this is a completely a very profitable business and we can deliver on this. And then, of course, the resources are available. Condensate is readily available. There are strip or state condensate that we know it's available. When production is done here in our country, you will discover that there will be no more going to other people's country to go and boost the economy. Building a refinery, I think, is the best. Dangote is doing one, and we ask other people to put hand together and 
make it a reality. Yeah, I think it's a welcome development. But let there be sincerity of purpose. Absolutely, it's the right step in the right direction if they will follow the implementation to the letter. It's a very nice idea. I'll be very glad if it's really come to existence. Well, a condensate refinery is a simple plant designed to handle light hydrocarbon from natural gas well. And that's it on this segment. Please stick around for the other parts of the program. Hello and welcome to this segment of the program. My name is Tola Bobuade. Did you know that the federal government established the Nigerian National Oil Company via a decree in May 1971? Did you know that Nigeria joined the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, in July 1971? In addition, Nigeria became the 11th member of OPEC and the third African country to join the organization. Nigeria had its first stint with oil boom as production rose to over 2 million barrels in 1974. Did you also know that the federal government merged the Nigerian National Oil Company and parts of the Ministry of Mines and Power to create the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, on the 1st of April 1977? Now you know. Please stay tuned for the rest of the program. Hello and welcome to Global Crude Oil Outlook. Oil prices rose after a drop in United States crude stocks and an international energy agency IEA forecast for lower global stockpiles in the second half, but the Brent benchmark still hovered around $30 per barrel as a weak demand picture curbed gains. Brent crude futures were up $1.17 or 4% at $30.36 per barrel, while United States West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures were up $1.01 or 4.4% higher at $26.39 per barrel. United States Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell warned of an extended period of weak economic growth. Providing some bullish impetus, United States crude inventories fell for the first time in 15 weeks, according to the EIA. United States crude stockpiles were down by 745,000 barrels to 531.5 million barrels in the week to May 8, the Energy Information Administration said. Physical crude prices, including in the North Sea, which is home to the Brent crude stream have been climbing and the six-month Brent futures contango is at its shallowest in two months at around minus $3.50 per barrel. The organization of the petroleum exporting countries OPEC said it expected 2020 global oil demand to shrink by 9.07 million barrels per day, a deeper contraction than its previous forecast of 6.85 million barrels per day. And that's it on this segment of the program. I am Owego Okolo. It's pertinent to categorically reiterate that all commitments of the coalition, which is all in kind, will be met and guided by a governance structure that is in line with the principles of transparency, accountability, performance and excellence. TAP of the GMD and Global Press Practices. That's how the program is being, Oil and Gas Forum for this edition. Thanks for joining us. Top of the list of our takeaways in this edition is NNPC's Medical Consumables and Infrastructure. It's already started to be given to all the 36 states of the country. We've got a date to keep next week. Right.